What's up, YouTube? I got a question for you guys to watch this channel. And if you don't watch this channel, but you're a football fan, I still have a question for you. One ball and no strike. Aaron waiting. The outfield deep and straight away. Fastball is a high drive in the deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fan city. All right, so I want to know, and I want you guys to leave a comment and explain to me what you think. I want to know who is the worst team in football right now besides the Carolina Panthers. While we decide, I want to say this. For those that do watch the channel and watch the live streams, you know I'm a New England Patriots fan, right? All right, and you know... I don't like Matt Jones, right? Down the near side of the field and it's better to win, intercepted. Picked off out of the end zone and coming back up the sideline is Javon Holland. I said Matt Jones was a truck several times and somebody in the comment section always say Matt Jones is not a truck. Weeks ago, I explained that Matt Jones is going to cost Bill Belichick his job. He's going to force Belichick into an early retirement. Now, we're not there yet, but people are starting to talk and wonder, is it time for Bill Belichick to hang it up? His downfall, I said it before, I'll say it again, is going to be Matt Jones. Jones, step, throw, it, intercepted by Fitzpatrick. After letting Tom Brady get away, this is your replacement. You try to bring in a Cam Newton, and then you give Mac Jones his job back. Look, Mac Jones has more interceptions than touchdowns this season. He's throwing some horrible passes. He's making some terrible decisions. There's no way he should be starting this Sunday, but he's going to start this Sunday. It, it's got to get to the point where Billichick, you have to go or just go on and retire, dog. Because your faith and your consistency in letting Mac Jones have a job is not a good look. Everybody in the football world has something bad to say about the New England Patriots right now. However, check it out. I made a bet with KP Video News. KP bet that the Bears win over five and a half games. He tried to move it down to five, right? So we'll give him a tie at five. You know, he's trying to buy his way. Out of a large root beer float. Come on, KP. You could do better than that. But it's all right because the Bears only got as many wins as the New England Patriots. So KP calls me and say, man, you should have bet that the New England Patriots uh, don't win five games. Well, okay. I probably should have, right? I, I said New England will win nine. Apparently, it's not looking good. Apparently, in reality, it's very likely not going to happen. Chicago Bears winning five and a half is still suspect. All right. So look, back to the question. Who is the worst team in football right now besides the Carolina Panthers? You have a bunch of one and four teams. You have the Arizona Cardinals, Minnesota Vikings, New York Giants, Denver Broncos, and the Chicago Bears. Right, so along with the Patriots, the Carolina Panthers haven't won a game, they're winless. Unfortunately, young Bryce Young is the worst quarterback in the NFL right now, but nobody's talking about that because he's a youngster and they expect good things out of Bryce. But back to Mac Jones, can't let him off the hook. He has a 40 percent quarterback rating, which is number 26 in the league out of 32 quarterbacks. Horrible, but it gets worse. He's tied for the lead in interceptions, along with Daniel Jones, another bust, right? Um, the only people worse than Mac Jones. So if you hear your name right now, you're a bum. You're a straight bum. Kev Mac said it. You're a bum. If you hear your name on this list, I'm going to give a disclaimer to Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, you are a bum right now, but you're not really a bum. You always start slow. You finish strong. Joe Burrow. You got to get your shit together. Daniel Jones, you a bum, never liked you. You ain't shit. You, you, you where you need to be. 
on the Giants. Zach Wilson. Now, we know Zach is nothing, but I thought he would be all right. I thought he would be good enough to help keep the Jets in contention for nine wins, but it's not looking so great. Ryan Tannehill. Now, I like what the Titans look like. I like the way they've been coached. They play and Henry's balling, but the Titans, you're just not cutting it, dog. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Something There needs to be some changes over there. And Tannehill has to start throwing the ball, lose his job. You cannot be worse than Mac Jones in the NFL right now. That's not a good look. That's like being a crip and a buster or blood and a buster. You can't be that buster that everybody put their foot on the back of your neck. Kenny Pickett. I actually thought he was good in preseason, so I'm not going to ride him too hard, but you are the next to the worst quarterback in the NFL. Only Bryce Young is worse. Kenny Pickett, you are horrible, dude. Yet, the Steelers are winning games. The Steelers are doing all right. The Steelers are in first place in the AFC North. Chicago Bears. I like Justin Fields. I, I compared Justin Fields for the last two years to Jalen Hurts without the supporting cast. I think Fields can be good in another system. I've maintained for two years the Bears are not going to do anything to put Fields in a position to win. Yet, the only bad thing I can say about Fields is he's ranked number 20 at quarterback out of 32. Um, that's kind of poor, but he doesn't have a whole lot of help. So the Bears at 1-4, and four, New England Patriots, Mac Jones, and the whole Belichick fiasco, 1-4. and four. Denver Broncos, you know I like to ride Sierra Wilson. Not really Sierra, but, you know, the guy who is probably more feminine than Sierra, who married Sierra, who is just not doing well. Moving from Seattle to Denver has not done Sierra Wilson well at quarterback. The Broncos' defense horrendous, like I said. That's, that's a terrible defense. I thought... The Denver Broncos defense, Kansas City Chiefs defense, and Miami defense were some of the worst defenses in the NFL, and so it's holding true with the Denver Broncos. Anybody can score on them, no problem. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, everybody likes to ride Kirk Cousins. He was one of my favorite quarterbacks coming out of Michigan State, coming out of college. Uh, I wrote about him in my book, and the book is old, so Kirk Cousins is getting old. Kirk Cousins is a decent quarterback some days and the worst quarterback others, and right now the Vikings are 1-4. They're not being coached well. Um, they lost that game to the Chargers that they had so easily twice in the fourth quarter. Pathetic. Um, then the Arizona Cardinals. Nobody's talking about them at all. Um, their quarterback actually is not that bad. Actually, Kirk Cousins is ranked like number 12. The Cardinals quarterback, I don't even know his damn name, but he's ranked number 15. So they are in the top half of the um, 32 teams in the NFL at quarterback. So, so they're not as bad as their team is or the coaching. So I give them that. I give them that, the Cardinals and the Vikings quarterbacks aren't as bad as some of these other quarterbacks on these bad teams. Of course, uh, like I said earlier, Bryce Young, 0-5, can't win a game. He, it's horrible. It's pitiful. And, um, of course, the New England Patriots. So, who's worse? Leave a comment. Tell me who's worse. The Arizona Cardinals, Minnesota Vikings, New York Giants, New England Patriots, Denver Broncos, or the Chicago Bears? And do you think at this point the Bears will win more games than the New England Patriots? Hey, I'm out of here, y'all. Thanks for watching. Salute.